There are a couple of uh, ways of editing a object in Dreams. One is to edit the contents of a thing, and one is to edit the properties of the thing. So if I use L1 and X on this sculpt, I'm now editing the contents of that thing. So I can I can add new I can add new uh, content, and I can move old content around like that. Um, and then I use L1 and Circle to scope out of it. Uh, the same if I had a microchip, I'd use L1 and X to edit the contents in there. So then I can add new gadgets, I can move them around, take them out, put them in, and delete them and stuff. Um, and there's also, if I find an instrument, uh, for an instrument it's the same L1 and X to edit the contents of what's in here. So if I record stuff, now that those contents are accessible by using L1 and X. Um, and you can look at the piano roll and the slices and things like that. But all that's done with L1 and X. Um, the same with grouping things. So if I had two of these and I group some like that, um, I want to go in and edit this one. Then I'd scope in with L1 and X again and edit the contents of this group. And then while I'm scoped out, I'm not editing the contents, I'm just moving it around. Um, so that's that's how you edit uh, the contents of something. Um, now, uh, the other way of editing something is to edit its properties. And for that, instead of scoping in with L1 and X, we press L1 and square. And now we have properties on here and we can change them. And if I went in here and edited the sculpts, now we can change these properties and so on. Um, so that's how you edit the properties of something. And same with other gadgets like microchips and even puppets work this way. So if I stamp the puppet down, uh, I can tweak the puppet itself and it has a certain tweak menu. If I scoped in and tweaked that part again, I'm now editing the contents of that group and I'm getting the sculptures of, uh, properties here. Also when you're editing a sculpt, then you can edit the properties of the actual uh, shape you're using by using L1 and square as well. So now I can stretch these out and start so on, stamp it, or then start adding con contents, adding to the contents. Um, but to actually edit the the properties of that shape, i.e. the the uh, size of it and so on, and also the uh, things like uh, soft blend and and things like that. Um, then I would edit the, the properties of it with L1 and square. For some things like sculpts and paintings, there's also the these modes, the coat mode, the style mode, and the effects mode. And these edit the properties of things that you're hovering over. So if I use the coat mode, and then wanted to make this stuff green, I can hover over that object, which is the group. So everything inside the group is being affected. And it's editing the properties of that thing. And that's pretty much how that works. I'd like to thank DeadMC, Martinity DK, Rev Player, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.